let's talk about the spiritual or energetic sign. Now, we all know you should know or let me inform you that the new moon is always a perfect time to set your intentions. It is like the perfect time when the soil is ripe to produce the seeds or the plants or to grow. And the fact that we're in the spring, (laughs) it's happening, this new moon being a solar eclipse is like putting super grow onto your intention. So use it as an energetic uh, reset, (laughs) to reset, to take a look. Now, I always do on the new moon, I take a look back at what I've planted. Those are the goals that you set for yourself (laughs) at the beginning of the year and how they're growing. And if perhaps you need to shift energy. Maybe this is not the time uh, (laughs) to grow, or maybe this is not the plant that you wanted, but you can always reset. And it's a perfect time uh, tomorrow, but during these next 10 days, because we have a solar eclipse happening now, but there will be a lunar eclipse in 10 days. So this is heightened superfood for your intention, uh, intentions. Okay, the second thing that the solar eclipse is going to do, it is going to super or charge your intuition and your emotions. Now, you can take responsibility and intentionally respond to the information that you get or the events that happen, or you can be unconscious and just let things happen to you. But the energy that you're feeling, everybody's feeling something. Now, you can name, you have the choice to name that heightened awareness as fear, false evidence appearing real, or you can look at it as um, excitement because we are moving into a new adventure. Everybody is moving into a new adventure. So you can approach it or choose to approach it with excitement, curiosity, reflection, or even run around the sky as well. Oh, no, my goodness. Like I said, I was talking to a couple of people I was out in the world And the things that they were saying that they were reading on Twitter and and, uh, what TikTok (laughs) were scaring them. Why scare yourself? You can choose. (laughs) You can choose how you will allow this event to affect you. You can choose to have it positive, moving in and being very joyous that you have used super fuel (laughs) or super fertilizer to grow your intentions, or you can continue to let those weeds And they're going to be supercharged. Continue to grow in your garden. It is up to you. Uh, This is a very powerful, 
powerful time. And I encourage you, we re- encourage you to use it for your benefit and um, to make you aware of it so that you can use it as um, to your benefit. And the last thing, yeah, I was uh, doing my research because when I was asked about the clips, I had to say, well, wait a minute, maybe there is something that I also need to know. So I did uh, some research and one of my teachers, um, great teacher, Sonia Choquette, shared a real quick way of clearing those voices out of your head that are running rapid, scaring you. And it's called two breaths and a slide. And what it what you're doing is you are becoming conscious, becoming present. I encourage you to become conscious and present so that you can make deliberate choices that move you towards your goal, close to the away from your goal. And he, here it is, is you are going to um, look around your room, really call yourself back and look around your room and look for something of beauty, be it a picture, a vase, a chair, I don't know, look around wherever you are, if you're outside of flower or bird, look around and as you look at it, breathe in the beauty of that object. And then release the noise in your head. And you're going to do it again, but find something new in to, to, to that you can focus on, that you can breathe in that beauty and look at it and breathe in and release the noise. And then the last time you're going to take a third breath, this time you are going to breathe it in from the tip of your toenails and just breathe in the beauty and then open your mouth wide and slide slide into your heart slide into that love energy and what you'll notice or what i noticed when i went back to using this tool was that it was quiet that was quiet, that I could then go back to my intuition, which is going to be heightened, and hear, and ask for guidance. Remember, everything is going to be magnified. You can intentionally magnify that that you want, or you can unconsciously accept and magnify the fear, energy, and thought that's out there. It is up to you. So, my dears, I hope that that makes a difference that you remember one, there is going to be a solar eclipse April 8th. It you will be, if you're in the U.S., able to view it for at least two, two and a half hours. Check out the timing in your particular area. Check out the best place in your particular area to view this phenomenon. Make sure, best piece of advice, that yeah, don't look directly at the light. Know that the sky isn't falling and know that if you want to view it, you can view it with, and there are special types of glasses. Don't You can't use your sunglasses, so do your research. And then take 
the time to energetically reset while your intuition is heightened so that you can plant the seeds that you wish to to grow. (laughs) Who wish to grow this spring? Because it is going to be a major shift. There is a major shift. (laughs) It is a major shift that is occurring. (laughs) So, choose. Choose. Anything. If I, if you have any questions, and I, or if I could help you in any way, I am Elizabeth. May light, plenty of light, love, and laughter accompany you on your path. Until then, may you have a blessed one.